What's going on, guys? It's Corey and Dave here. Another episode of Zap Talk. You know the winter is uh, here, it, but it's February now, which is good. It's still winter. So we can get rid of this snow. What we have in the winter? Yeah, but it's supposed to be the weather's supposed to get better. So, and February is a short month. We have March, which is cool. Can't wait because I'm not a winter guy. Um, last week wasn't a big week. We got the biggest book of the week last week was uh, Saga, and then the Invader uh, Zim trade paperback sold really well last week. Really, really cool. I like that. Um, this week, this is probably one of the most anticipated books of the new Marvel Now re relaunches. Spider-Man number one, and it's Miles Morales. Thought we already had a Spider-Man number one. No, this one. is the uh, Miles Morales one. Ah. He is now officially part of the Marvel Universe. That's good. And they're going to fill in the eight-month gap between the end of Secret Wars and now. But I thought Secret Wars just came out. Well, it was supposed to come out like eight months ago, so. They're going to show you, tell you what happened <laughs> between uh, Secret Wars 9 and this. So it's good. Eight. I've been dying to know these past... Two weeks. So it's really cool. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis is writing it. And it's got beautiful art by Sarah Pacelli. Yeah. Which uh, obviously did Ultimate Spider-Man before this. Looks really good. So it's really, really neat. It's interesting. In those eight months, she's been drawn. So now he's part of the Marvel Universe, officially. Which, it was cool, because this is a cool way to bring in a new Spider-Man without really replacing Peter Parker. Or doing like a Batman-type thing. It's actually another... It's kind of like Spider-Gwen. They figured out how to do it. Bring back. They figured out how to bring back Gwen Stacy without... without it being a clone or really pissing anybody off, they did it, you know, somewhat seam seamlessly, and they're doing this now with Miles Morales. It's gonna have as many uh, Spider Men as they want. Yeah, so it's really, really cool. Um, fun character. Yeah. Fun story. His supporting cast is also there. Uh, there's preview art. It looks great. Very, very cool. Um, you also get this is kind of like a fun book. You get uh, Deadpool Mercs for Money, number one of five, the five issue series, written by Colin Bunn, who writes everything. Villains. Villains. He writes villains. And he really writes well. them really well. Yeah. This is funny because it has a lot of those um, lame, rarely used, uh, wannabe cool villains from like the 80s and 90s. Like you got like, you know, Fool Killer, Donald. Solo, I don't know Slapstick. Him. One of my him. favorites is uh, Stingray. I know him. my Iron Man days. It's a couple other guys. It's interesting. It's going to be a fun, you know, and this will sell forever as a trade when it comes out. They handle Deadpool very well. They always, they do. He always has a regular series going on, and it's always a mini series after mini series after mini series. I don't know if you noticed. DC is starting to do that with Harley Quinn. Yeah. Get her main series and then just keep having mini series after mini series because the running joke, which is pretty much true, is that Harley Quinn is the is DC's version of Deadpool. Yeah. And it works. It's true. It goes so. either, it goes both ways. Um, I like these. Uh, I've read a lot of the Deadpool mini series. I like when they use throwaway characters because when you give it to a good writer like Colin Bunn, he can throw them away. <laughs> so if like you know nobody's gonna be like, oh my god, Fool Killer. I'm never buying another Fool Killer comic again because he died doesn't matter no one is going to buy a full killer comic because he sounds they try awful. to make him big in the, the 80s or early 90s with the sounds miniseries. stupid yeah it wasn't it wasn't but people, his first appearance is gonna be flying off the shelves now i'm sure it'll get a little spike but oh, I'm I don't just think it's gonna, but you just read this you enjoy it i'm just glad like Sting, stingray is in there stingray is cool stingray is cool where's he been i hope I we find know. out so. and you got uh, a couple of the big books you get batman europa number four of the you know the final issue and then you also get walking dead 151 good uh, which of course after 150, we'll see the, the new direction they're going in. Wowzers! That's all I have very, to say to that. Cool. Uh, for all you guys who came to Pokemon Day, we appreciate it. Yeah, it was awesome. It was, it was lots great. Of fun. We caught them all. Remember when we caught them all yeah. at that time when we were there? I got you. All. If you watched this before Pokemon Day happened, help us catch them all. I don't want to be called a liar on the internet. Anyways, is so. there a worse fate? Yeah. No. I don't know. Again. David, Corey, Zap Talk. We'll see you guys at the shop. Be good. See you. Corey, it's after.